this is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can design this abstract galaxy logo using Inkscape. So we'll go ahead and get started with Inkscape. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear darkened with these custom icons, I will have a link to that information in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do is set up our document. We'll go to File, Document Properties, and we want to set the display units to PX for pixels. And we want to uncheck this box that says Show Page Border. We want to temporarily get rid of that. And we can close out of that. We'll go to View, make sure you have Custom selected, and then we'll zoom in at one-to-one. -one. And then we'll open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button over here. We're going to want Last Selected Chosen from this drop-down. And then we'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button there. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a circle. So we'll come over here to the Circles and Ellipses tool. Hold Control and Shift and click and drag on the keyboard to create a perfectly round circle like that. And I'm going to convert that from a circle to a path by going to Path, uh, Object to Path. And let me just grab the Select tool. I'm going to put this over here to the left. And then I'm going to duplicate this by right-clicking it and going to Duplicate. And then I'll hold Control on the keyboard and click and drag this one over to the right over here. And I want to make this one larger by holding Control and taking this right arrow and just scaling it up about that much. Maybe space it out a little further. Something like that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be exactly like I have it here on my screen. Just a, 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 a slight estimate should work just fine. And what I want to do now is I'll click on this first one. If you notice here in the icon, the, uh, the inner part is light blue and the outer part is like a violet uh, purple. So what I'll do is I'll make this one over here, the small circle, I'll make that a light blue. And then I'll take this one and I'll make that the shade of uh, like purple or violet, something like that. That's pretty good. And what I wanna do now is click and drag over both of those so we have them both selected and go to extensions, generate from path, interpolate. And we're gonna get this menu right here. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Um, Exponent, we want that set to 0.0. .0. Interpolation steps, uh, it says three. Let's just change that to five for now. Interpolation method, two. Uh, duplicate end paths, we want that unchecked. Interpolate style, we want that checked. And use Z order, leave that unchecked. And once we have those parameters set, we can go ahead and click live preview and it'll give you a sense of how it looks. What it did was it took, uh, it created a bunch of new paths uh, using the average of the uh, the two end paths there and copied the style too so it it creates the illusion of a gradient but really it's just separate colors separate solid fill colors for each individual shape and that looks pretty good right there I'll finalize that as it is by clicking OK or apply rather and we can close out of that and if you notice we still have our two separate shapes here on the ends but all these new shapes are all grouped together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on those and I'm just gonna click the button that says ungroup and now all of them should be ungrouped. And now we can click and drag over all of them and group them all together as one group by clicking the group button. And let me just hold control and shift and scale that down a little bit. What I wanna do now is bend the bend this path a little bit. If you notice here, this it's like a, a line of circles that goes along a bent path. So to do that, I'm going to go to path, path effects, and you're gonna get this new uh, tile over here on the right. I'm gonna click the plus icon to add a new path effect. Let me make this menu bigger so you can see it a little better. The path effect we're looking for is uh, bend. It should be default selected. So go ahead and click add. And once we've added the bend path effect, I'm gonna click this little icon right here that says edit on canvas. And we're gonna get this green line running through the shapes. And what we could do is we could take that green line and just bend it like that. Take this and bend that a little bit that way. Move that that way. And if you notice, uh, the circles are starting to become a little distorted. So what I'm gonna do to help mitigate that is just hold control and take this node over here on the right and just click and drag this in like that to help uh, distort it in the other direction. It's not gonna be perfect, but uh, it, it should help a little bit. You could also alter it using this little handle right here. You can control how distorted it is, maybe something like that. That's pretty good. These are not gonna be perfect circles. Uh, it's about as close as you'll get though. So. Uh, once we've done that, we could finalize that by going to Path, Object to Path. Now we can close out of that. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the Select tool. 
and I'm going to click on this object again to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and take this bottom right hand corner uh, handle and just rotate this around until it's sitting upright like that. And I'll flip that horizontally with the button over here, flip selected objects horizontally. And what I want to do now is, let me just make this a little smaller actually. Click on it, you can click on it again to get the scaling handles. I'm just going to hold control and shift and scale that down to about that size. What I want to do now is uh, click on it again to get the rotation handles. And you'll notice here, there's, there's this little uh, crosshair in the center. This crosshair it represents the axis that the object rotates on. So if I rotate it around, you'll notice it rotates around that cross. If I move the cross over here, you notice it'll rotate around the cross over there. So what I want to do is take that cross here and just bring this to the lower left-hand side, maybe about out here, like that. And then once I've done that, I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and take this top right handle and rotate it around like that. And you'll see it's going in a circle in the, pat in the uh, position we want it to go. So I'll start right here and I'll press, while holding control and while holding the left click, I'll press the space bar and that's going to create a copy. And I could rotate this over one, two, two steps like that. Press the space bar again, one, two, space bar. And you can just keep going until you form a complete circle, skipping a uh, step. And for the last one, we don't want to hit the space bar because we don't want another copy. We could just let go of everything and there it is. And what you could do now is click and drag over everything, group it all together, hold control and shift and scale it down however you'd like. And as you can see, we are finished. We have created our little abstract galaxy icon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.